Today we are in Centralia, Washington. We're gonna take you around and give you a tour. I'm Forrest Bailey with Show Me Real Estate. This is our awesome designated broker and owner, Alicia Jolma, and come take a ride with us. Right now we are approaching the Centralia outlets, the best local spot to do some shopping. What kind of stores do they have? They have Coach stores, Under Armour stores, an Aeropostal. Ooh, a Tesla charging station. Those went in in the last few years. They are definitely new around here. Over here to the left, you got the children's place. Good place to get a bunch of children's clothes and the Under Armour store. And if we take a right through here, this is where the majority of these stores are going to be. We got Bitchin' Britches over there to the right. That's a fun little store. They actually got a lot of cool country, country style clothes and everything in there. And we got the Coach store. And there's been a few new places pop up here recently. But this is a nice place to come through and get all your shopping needs done. Uh, during the holidays, they got a lot of sales going on so we like to come through and check them all out. So this is the uh, Centralia train station here. And you can hop on the train, you can go up to watch the Seahawks games. You can go all the way down to California. So right now we're going to be taking you to the Edison District, which is one of the more sought after neighborhoods to live in down here. It's actually the most historic area. There's a lot of very, very old houses out there that are quite spectacular to look at. So we're going to take you down there and uh, take a look around. history about Centralia. Um, it was founded in 1852 by a man named George Washington. Um, it originally was called Centerville. It was renamed in 1883 to Centralia. And Washington actually donated the land that the train station is on right now, which kind of fueled the growth of the city around here due to its perfect location right to the rail system. They're, they have always been very into the timber industry around here, and they actually have Sierra Pacific Mill just up the way a little ways, which is one of the largest mills, and they have the most production out of any other mill around here. Um, I want to say they have about 180 to 200 employees and it's actually a really good place to work for. We also have Centralia College here and that college is actually the oldest continually ran college in the state. Here is probably the best and coolest house on the street, is the Verge House. Um, I want to believe that was built in the 1800s. Right now we are in North Pearl Street and we're going to come up and loop around 
in the downtown historic area of Centralia. We got a bunch of shops, antique shops, um, craft stores, pretty much anything and everything you need to have down here. right to our right up here and they do a lot of events in the summertime out there it's actually very very community based right there um chamber does a lot of events out there uh, they'll have live bands sometimes big picnics it's actually a pretty cool place during the summer Right, and right here we have Centralia College, and like I said earlier, um, it's the oldest continually operated college in the state. Um, they have really nice ball fields here, and they got a lot of great programs there, including a bunch of vocational programs. So if you are looking to go to college, this is a great place to do some research. Have Berry Hills Cafe in there, which is a great place just to come in in the morning when they have their events downtown through here. A lot of people like to stop in there and have brunch. All right, and here is the main downtown area right here. We have lots of shops here. We have the McMinimans Olympic Club right here, which is a great place to grab some food. They even have a little movie theater down there. It's very, very comfortable, very good food in there. And as you can see here, they often do a lot of events right here. A lot of vendors come, a lot of local businesses come through. Lots of antique stores. We have the Oblardius Gibson house here on the left. We have lots of really good food options. We have an American Legion right down there. Insert Coin is a really cool place. They actually have a old school arcade that is free to use and a bunch of arcade games for the kids. And quite uniquely, they have a beer wall that you pour yourself and you can try all sorts of different local brews and lots of good food. Scott's Games, he makes all sorts of awesome, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. Yep, yep. How yep. long have you guys been doing this? Let's see, I've been making games for 16, 17 years, something like that. And then I got a new one coming out, I'm still de designing it. It's a hook and loop game. You got a post coming out, you got a swing the hook and loop to hook, hook on the hook. It's a pub game, but it's a uh, I'm still designing how to work it up so you can tear it apart and put it in a box as far as instead of having it, you know, this big bolt thing. So, doing what? that, and I do a lot of uh, rustic furniture, and so I got both barn benches I'm going to be making for later on this year. And always busy. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to take you up to the Seminary Hill Natural Area. It's a nice area to do some hiking around here. They have four and a half miles of trails and places to 
have a little picnic. And go up and take a look. Sausage and Deli with Michaela. And Michaela, what do you think the most popular meal choices here? I would probably say it's the Reuben with potato salad. Pretty popular choice, probably. Okay. How long does it work? About, about a month ish now. I'd say about four or five 